Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today <coughs> was induction day. Um, they told me that uh, they would give me a call about uh, a day I could come in to be induced and they said I could come in this morning, which is August 11th. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a comfortable position. Um, <clears throat> so I went in this morning and, uh, there's different ways they can do inductions. And so what they did for me was they inserted some medication into the vagina that's supposed to ripen the cervix. It's supposed to soften it and shorten it. And then they monitored the baby for two hours and then, uh, they gave me the option of staying um, or going home and I decided to just go home because I wasn't prepared with my things to stay and uh, I thought they would just send me home anyway because <clears throat> it can it can be a long process so I got home probably at around like three o'clock and I probably went in I can't remember, <laughs> but I went in early this morning and I got home at about 3 and I lied down to try and get some rest, except the medication had kind of started doing its job very quickly. So yeah, I was in a lot of pain, a lot of cramping, um, like menstrual cramping, and then all the other normal pains I've been feeling and then you know I started to get my fever face again and start to feel like I have the flu and I am wicked and nauseous and just it's really hard to move because I'm in a lot of pain so I wasn't really able to fall asleep just imagine like the worst menstrual cramps ever in your back <laughs> So I had to call them back at 6 p.m. and let them know how I was feeling and they asked me like a bunch of questions and I, I explained to her the f pains that I am currently in and she was like, oh yay, this is early labor and I was like, oh, thank God because how <laughs> and um yeah, so apparently I'm experiencing back labor, and, uh, yeah, just ow. <laughs> so, it's really hard for me to, like, move, so my friend is coming over, and she's gonna help me, um, get my things together, <sighs> and then we're gonna go to the hospital, and uh, get this, get this girl started on her trip out of my womb so until she gets here i'm just gonna stay in bed because it really is hurting a lot um but yeah i'm gonna have a baby so update um i came to the hospital because i was in a lot of pain um and i had been having really regular contractions um so my friend came over to just kind of like help me get ready to come and then we got a taxi here when i got here um <laughs> the cab driver uh, who drove us here um, when I was getting out of the back seat? I was like, oh, sorry, like, because it was taking me a long time to get out because I was in a lot of pain. And he was like, oh, don't worry, I understand. And I'm like, just like, uh, you what? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> like, have you. Has a child come out of your penis recently? Like, I don't think you do. <laughs> But, um, I mean, I know he met his wife, but just, like, hearing that, I was like... <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, so they got me into triage right away, and then, um, there's no one else in here right now. That's where we are. 
So they hooked me up to the monitor and they had a hard time finding the baby's heartbeat. Um, and I hadn't felt her move in like a few hours, so I was worried. Um, and then they did find her heartbeat, but it like decelerated. So she had to get the doctor to come in and like another nurse and uh, they had to take out the um, medication that they had put in earlier from the induction. So they had to take that out and then she had to examine my cervix. Um, um, and that was like wicked painful like so it took a while for her to be able to like properly do the exam um and she was worried as to why it was so painful so but anyway things are progressing like my cervix is softened but it hasn't started to dilate so but um they're not going to send me home now because the baby's heart rate did drop it's okay now like she's totally fine now and she's moving and they have me hooked up to fluids so I'm probably gonna be here until she's born um, yeah they're gonna put me in a birthing room whenever they can and I'm gonna get another shot of pain medication they're just checking with the doctor to see if it's okay now because they were just waiting to make sure the baby was okay so yeah and then they're gonna be doing um, something else to induce labor because they don't want to put the same medication back up there because they think that that might have been why her heart rate had dropped so yes that is what's going on right now I think it is 10 to 11 or like at night I don't know something like that um but uh yeah so my friend is here with me now I don't know what else to say <laughs> I'm just I'm wicked thirsty and wicked hot and in a crab ton of pain <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like it <laughs> but I am <laughs> so check in in a bit so it's actually been quite a bit since I updated you guys it is now almost six o'clock in the morning um and I'm in labor officially uh so the nurse came back and gave me um a morphine shot to help with the pain oh, beeping gave me a morphine shot to help with the pain um but when she came back I needed to get up and use the washroom before so when she was helping me get up to use the washroom my water broke completely all on its own and I wasn't expecting that to happen and wow did that feel interesting it was like all of a sudden Niagara Falls in my hospital bed like it was so funny like I could stop laughing because it was like I was sitting in a puddle like it was so funny um they didn't hurt it just like popped and uh that was great because they didn't have to go in and break it themselves they were gonna have to go in and put a foley catheter up into my cervix to put more meds up there to ripen it more but then my water broke and they didn't need to do that so that was awesome after my water broke my contractions started getting more regular and more painful and longer um, and so eventually they rechecked my cervix and I was only one centimeter dilated, which of course I was. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they went ahead and gave me the morphine shot and some gravel and, um, it didn't really help. It took a long time to kick in and when it did like the contractions were only slightly less painful and like only for an hour so it wasn't really helpful. Um, but once they started to get they started to get even worse um, they checked my cervix again and I was two centimeters dilated and I was just like yeah I was in way too much pain like I thought I was close to the grave like it like it was intense like I was shaking and I felt not like I was gonna puke at any second and I, I just could not it was getting harder to breathe through them um, so yeah they just they went ahead and ordered me the epidural and then uh, I was pretty scared for the epidural just because I didn't really know what to expect um, 
I mean, I had seen stuff on other vlogs, but yeah, everyone's experience is different. So yeah, they came in and um, got me set up for that. Okay, so battery died. Let's begin. It's now uh, morning. It's about like quarter to 10. They came in and started getting um, prepared to give me the epidural. Um, and I was kind of getting a little bit scared because it's kind of a pain I don't really know. Like this whole experience is just like a lot of pain that I've never had before. So uh, yeah, so I was like really nervous for the epidural. So going into it, I was a little bit like teary eyed. They had me like sit on the end of the bed. Sorry, I didn't uh, film that part because uh, I don't even know if I would have been allowed to. And two, I didn't know how I was gonna respond. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it was kind of like a pinching pain in my back. He had me like sit and kind of like hunched over and hug a pillow. He wanted me to like push out my lower back, which I was like, I don't know how to do that. Like what? Like I was just kind of like confused with the instructions <laughs> he was giving me, but I was also in a lot of pain. So I was a bit snappy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so he gave me the freezing and the freezing just felt like any regular freezing you would get anywhere. Um, God, I look like, I look like a wreck, but it was a long night. So uh, anyway, um, the freezing just stung a little bit and then he started to insert the epidural or the tube or whatever, I don't know. I didn't look at the tools because I didn't want it to freak me out. So whatever he was putting in, he started putting in and um, he told me to like tell him if I felt like a sharp pain and uh yeah i felt a sharp pain a few times so he had to give me a lot more freezing um and then he was like at one point he was like i think what you're feeling is pressure and i'm like no sir like i can deal with pressure okay i know what pressure feels like this is pain um and then he was like well where is the pain and i'm like where you're putting it like in my back like whatever he was like yeah but the left side or the right side and i'm like what do you mean like you're in the center of my back but as it kept happening i started to notice it was a little bit on the right side so um <laughs> yeah it was like it was kind of stressful it was intense for a few minutes and then like you know the doctor would tell me something and then the nurse would just repeat what he said and so that was kind of like frustrating me because i'm having contractions getting something shoved in my back that is like kind of hitting a nerve a few times and yeah I got I just started bawling and I cried a lot <laughs> they got it in and it was good it wasn't as bad as I thought it was just like those pains in my nerves that I was a little bit scared for so definitely being afraid made it seem worse than it actually was once I had the epidural oh my god so much better um I can still move my legs. I mean, I can't for the Lord's sake stand up because I will fall the hell over. But um, yeah, my legs are just like really tingly and I can still like feel people touching me, but I don't feel pain. So the nurse did this thing where she brought in like a bag of ice and she put ice on my, my belly where it wasn't uh, numb or where the epidural wasn't going and then she would put it on like my leg and then I could feel it really cold on my tummy But it wasn't cold at all on my leg and that was so weird because like I can feel her putting it there, but I don't feel the Anyway, that was just cool. I don't know how much I'm dilated. They haven't really checked, but um, they put me on oxytocin uh, to speed things along my water has been continuing to break like they were telling me that it's gonna be leaky for a while so like sometimes if i sit up like i'll just feel this like wicked gush and it's like niagara falls all over again <laughs> um but yeah it's interesting at one point like last night i was in so much pain that i just stopped caring about what i looked like or what my friends saw like at one point i was just completely naked on the toilet because i just could not i needed her help like i couldn't do by myself and i just i was in too much pain to care but she was a champ like i honestly don't know what i would be like right now if she wasn't here so i didn't think i didn't realize that i would need her as much as i have and i yeah i just 
I'm really, really, really grateful that she's here, so, and that I'm not alone. I did sleep a little bit, but, like, not really completely. It was just, like, resting with my eyes closed, and, you know, I numb out a little bit, but I don't, like, actually fall asleep. I'm gonna have a baby soon. It is noon on the dot. And I just got checked again, and apparently I'm eight to nine centimeters dilated, which is fantastical, but I definitely wasn't expecting it to go this fast. I wanted it to go fast, but that was like magic carpet speed fast. I'm not really feeling exactly like myself right now because I was getting itchy from um, the meds that I'm having from my epidural. And then they gave me some Benadryl, and Benadryl always makes me feel a little loopy. So, I'm a little loopy, but I'm getting scared because very soon I'm going to be holding her and touching her. And that is just a whirlwind of emotions. Um, but I'm also very excited. I just am starting to feel really bad again. But... The nurse said that means, you know, I'll have to be pushing soon, which is crazy. Like, whoa, just whoa. Baby's Hi. first bath. <laughs> We're gonna wash her in this little basin here. <laughs> Hi, baby. Are you ready to go home? Are you? Are you excited? Hooray! What do you think? <laughs> That's what she thinks. <laughs> Me too, girl. <laughs> 